What's up guys, it's Osiris and welcome to another video in this Ocean Audio series. Today we'll be looking into basic audio manipulation and editing. The first thing we'll be looking into is recording in stereo then converting the stereo audio to mono and converting from mono back to stereo. Then we'll look into gain and normalization, then fade in, fade out, copy and paste, then multi-selection edit. Let's check our record inputs and see if it's set right. And yeah, let's start recording. So this time I'll record in stereo instead of mono. So we are recording right now and I'm recording in stereo, but as yeah, so I'm going to stop the recording now and we'll play this back. So let's see what we have. So we are recording right now and I'm recording in stereo. So as you can hear, the audio is playing on the left channel. This is because we selected stereo recording, but I'm using a mono microphone. So it just chooses one channel and records in that channel since this is not a stereo microphone. We only have our audio playing in the left channel and we can't use this. So we have to convert this to mono. So what you want to do to convert this stereo channel to mono is come over to edit, then convert to mono, then just centralizes the audio and yeah, converts it to mono. So let's play this back. So we are recording right now and I'm recording in stereo, but as yeah, we can convert this back to stereo and it's just going to duplicate this mono audio into the left and the right channel to convert to stereo. So let's see how to do that. Come over to edit, then convert to stereo. Now we have the same audio signal split into two channels, the left and the right channel. So we are recording right now and I'm recording in stereo, but as yeah, that's how to convert from mono to stereo. So let me convert this back to mono so we can work in mono. The next thing we we'll look at is normalization so let's take a look at normalization so normalization is just a process of taking the highest points in your audio signal bringing it up to zero db so if i normalize this recording it's going to bring the highest point of the recording to zero db the loudest point in this recording to zero db and this is the loudest point so if we normalize the whole audio with this tool here or you can come over to effects normalize and it brings this point to zero db recording right now if you check the meter here recording right now and play once when you play the audio once it gets to that point the meter peaks at zero db so we are recording right now and i'm recording in stereo but so that's the basic idea behind normalization let's look into gain Let's create a new track and I'll record in mono. We'll be looking at gain in this recording and we'll be increasing some quiet parts and we're going to be reducing some loud parts. Yeah, so let's stop this recording. The gain tool in Ocean Audio is very simple to use. You can select any part and just increase or reduce the signal in that part of the audio. So this part is a little quiet, so I'm just going to increase that, and this part is a little too loud. Stop this record. So I'm just going to bring that down a little, and I'm just going to use the gain tool to balance the whole recording out, then I'll normalize after. So I'll use this as my reference point, and Let's just balance the whole recording. Bring this up. Bring this up. Let's bring this down. Bring this. Yeah, this is good. Yes, I think it's balanced. So let's play this. We'll be looking at gain in this recording and we'll be increasing some quiet parts and we're going to be reducing some loud 
parts. Yeah, so let's stop this recording. So that's how to use the gain tool in Usin Audio. So let's look into fading and fade out. Let's just bring in the guitar recording we used last time. Let's increase the gain. And okay, so I'm just going to cut off the beginning. I can use the cut icon or just press delete on my keyboard. Let's fade in the beginning and we'll fade out the end of this audio recording. So we we'll use this fade to, to fade the beginning in and you can see it just creates a nice volume envelope. So I'll cut the end of this then fade this out with this tool over here. So you can press that a couple of times and yeah, so I think I'm good with this. That's how to use the fade in and the fade out tool in Ocean Audio. So let's look into copy and paste. So I can copy this whole selection, then paste it at the end. So I have a duplicate of this audio. It's very basic. And I can also copy a middle part, then paste it at the middle. Yeah, so that's how copy and paste works in Ocean Audio. It's very simple and very easy to use. Let's look into multi-selection edits. So the basic idea behind this is that you can select as many parts of the audio as you want by holding down the control key on your keyboard. I think the command key for Mac users. Then I can reduce the gain on all these parts or bring up the gain. So that's the multi-selection tool in Ocean Audio. A very effective tool to use. Just hold down control and you can do anything, but it, the effect applies to the selected points. So let's normalize this. Let's fade this out, fade them in. So you can do anything with the multi selection tool. This is the basic. Um, audio manipulation and editing techniques you want to know in Ocean Audio. And we've looked at converting a stereo recording to mono, converting mono to stereo. We've looked at normalization and gain. We've looked at fade in, fade out, copy and paste, then multi selection edit. And that'll be all for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you're enjoying the series. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video guys peace